one of the most significant changes introduced to Kenya's national governance framework under the new constitutional dispensation is devolution with 47 new county governments. In the three years of devolution, Embu County government, under the able leadership of Governor Martin Nyaga Wambora, has recorded remarkable success with a positive impact. This has been through the implementation of the devolved functions. As was outlined in the county's development blueprint, the county government has been a trailblazer in the areas of infrastructure, water, health, agriculture, education, trade and youth empowerment and sports. The county government has initiated major projects at Embu Level 5 Hospital to position it as a modern medical facility with state-of-the-art equipment to make it a teaching and referral center. A three-storied superstructured hospital complex has been put up and is set for completion this year. Once complete, the building will have a 12-bed capacity intensive care unit section, 12-bed high dependency unit, four ultra-modern theaters, two classrooms and doctor's offices. Construction of renal dialysis unit fully installed with 10 dialysis machines is another important milestone that has been achieved. Another critical facility has been the construction of X-ray unit which is fitted with a top-of-the-range CT scan machine. The county government has also procured an MRI machine which is fully fitted. We are now in the process of adding facilities to these uh, uh, level 4 hospitals. Already we have finalized and operationalized uh, theaters in Chicago and Runyenges, level four hospitals. And the other four, before the end of the year, they will also be having operational theaters. Notable is Mbere Sub-County Hospital in Siakago town, which performed the first ever cesarean section. The operationalized dispensaries include Giori, Karura, Kamweli, Kiogogo, Siakanthukuri, Kanyangi, Kitungutia, Nduuri, Malikini, Karurina, and Kiriari. Determined to provide clean drinking water to all residents, the county government has managed to provide the precious commodity to 70% of households in the county. This is a shift from the 25% before devolution. Up to 75,000 Embu residents now have access to clean water after Embu Water and Sanitation Company, Ewasco, laid down a pipeline to provide the commodity. The pipeline reaches an additional 6,000 households and more than 100 schools, clinics and commercial buildings in Bere and surrounding communities. The 111 million shillings water project, which involved 29 kilometers Kiamuringa Muchonoke and Don Bosco Mecca water pipeline, was aimed at eradicating waterborne diseases by ensuring residents have access to clean and treated water. The county government will be spending 140 million shillings this financial year for development of water projects throughout the county with special emphasis on Bere South and North. The Embu stormwater drainage along Kubukubu Road and the stadium is ongoing and the next phase will cover other areas of Embu town which are prone to flooding. Governor Martin Wambora's plan to transform Embu into a 24-hour economy has been realized after the county government installed floodlights in 39 townships spread in the region. In 2015, Embu County was honored with Governor's Awards of Excellence for Support of Innovation in Energy. Motorable roads are a prerequisite to fast-tracking development. Bearing this in mind, the county government has embarked on an ambitious plan to tarmac 100 km of road by 2017 using modern cost-cutting technology. The county government has started with the 12.2 km Embu Kibugu Road, which is under construction using Malaysian probes technology. The Nairobi bus stage has already been tarmacked. Also nearing completion is the tarmacking of Dallas Ring Road, which is a key road within Embu town. The county has rehabilitated tens of county roads and bridges in all wards in the county. The county has added two more graders to the other four purchased in 2014 at a cost of 100 million shillings in a bid to enhance rural roads grading and rehabilitation. In 2016-2017 financial year, the county government plans to raise its performance by accelerating upgrading of roads to tarmacking standards. The ECDE, Nursery Schools and Youth Vocational Training Centers, are functions of the county government. Embu was the first county to employ 483 ECDE teachers on permanent and pensionable terms. 
As for the vocational training centers, Embu County also engaged managers and instructors on permanent and pensionable terms. The county has made tremendous progress in this sector. Enrollment in Embu vocational training centers has increased by 54%, while the ECDE enrollment has increased by 42%. In respect to needy students in secondary schools, tertiary colleges and universities, Governor Ombora has continued to assist children from less fortunate families with bursaries and loans. The demand for financial assistance is high and in response to that demand, the government has increased bursaries from 41.5 million shillings last year to 71.8 million this financial year. The agricultural sector continues to play a very important role in the Embu economy. The sector contributes over 70% of Embu economic base and generation of 26% foreign exchange earnings. The sector also employs over 85% of Embu rural population. Embu County has diverse agroecological conditions and has the potential to feed the region and improve the economy of its people. To support horticulture production, the county government, through partnership with the national government, has initiated a number of horticultural projects in this county, namely Smallholder Horticulture Marketing Program, SHOMAP, which has spent a total of 238.4 million to develop horticulture market infrastructure at Karurumo, Kangaru, Kibogu, and Kithimu markets. Over the last two years, farmers in the county were able to produce 7 million metric tons of macadamia nut worth 120 million shillings, 100,000 metric tons of tea worth 3.7 billion shillings, and 205,680 metric tons of coffee worth 10 billion shillings. The county government is keen on supporting the promotion of these crops as the main foreign exchange earners through identifying areas of value addition and export markets promotion. While in a bid to mechanize agriculture, especially in the areas of Bere North and South, the county government procured four tractors to promote agriculture mechanization in order to increase tillage and produce. The livestock subsector in the county is worth about 10 billion shillings with about 175,000 dairy cattle producing about 100 million liters of milk valued at 3.5 billion shillings annually. With this regard, the county government constructed a milk cooling plant to help farmers preserve their milk. The government is also promoting modern agricultural technologies such as greenhouse farming, drip irrigation, and water harvesting for agricultural production, promotion of improved storage bags for post-harvest management of pests and diseases that do not require the use of chemicals, provision of moisture meters for management of aflatoxin in stored grains, and mechanized land preparation. The county government has embarked on the following initiatives. Embu Youth Trust Fund. The government has already given 9 million shillings amongst the youth entrepreneurs and a further 10 million shillings this year. The Talent Academy is complete and will be operationalized soon. The Academy will nurture and mentor talents, including athletics, music, theatre and sports. Still on sports, construction of Phase 1 of the Embu Stadium, which is a model flagship project, is nearing completion. Once complete, the stadium will host key ball games and athletics. Recently, the county government organized the Miss Tourism Embu County Festival, which aimed to tap talents and showcase Embu as a travel, tourism and investment destination. The county government has also sponsored training of 107 Boda Boda riders to acquire motorcycle driving licenses and constructing 87 Boda Boda sheds across the county. Despite the political challenges that Embu County government has faced since its inception, it's evident that the county government led by Governor Martin Wambora has remained steadfast and is on the right path towards implementing the devolution agenda whose main aim is to bring services closer to the people. Embu County, the land of opportunities.